What is a couple of forces? Here we have two sticks. Give me a hand, Arkady Alexeyevich. Now, if we put this one on the axis, we'll have a lever. What is a lever? A lever is a long solid object that has a fulcrum and is able to rotate around it. Why do we need to talk about a couple of forces? This long solid object has an axis in the middle, in the middle of it. We can exert forces through it simultaneously but in different directions. I push this one and pull that one. Do you get it? Do you have any questions? No questions. What kind of force is a couple of forces? It is equal to no other force. No other force can be equal to a couple of forces, as two forces exerted on this lever are opposite each other. Turn it off, will you? This is what we have to keep in mind. The same happens when you drive. Have you ever driven? Yes. That's a couple of forces. Have you ever used a winch? Let it be okay. These are examples. Remember the law of the dynamics we've discussed? I want to make it clear. It's about the vector of a force. What is a vector of force? The direction of the force itself. So the direction of a force is the vector of it. If we superimpose on this vector two forces in the plane perpendicular to this vector, we will have a couple of forces. What are their features and what are we going to use? What is leverage? Leverage is a solid object able to rotate around its, this fulcrum. The longer the lever at my side, the more force I have. More than this short part of it. Got it? Yes. Let's proceed to defense and its features. If we move the fulcrum here, my partner will have an upper hand thanks to this. If I want to win, I have to get rid of the fulcrum and work, or shift it like this, changing its position and work. That is the main thing you have to understand from our recent meetings and seminars.